So, imagine trying to fly through the night without seeing a thing. For us, it would be impossible. But for bats, it's their superpower. You see, bats send out rapid, high-frequency sounds. They're so high-pitched that humans can't hear them. When these sounds bounce off an object, they return as echoes. And by analyzing the time it takes for the echo to come back, bats can figure out the distance, size, and even texture of objects. It's like having a 3D map of the world made entirely out of sound. And with this ability, bats can track insects the size of a mosquito in pitch darkness avoid obstacles mid-flight, and even distinguish between different types of prey. In fact, bats' use of echolocation has inspired some of the coolest technology here on Earth. You see, when humans started developing sonar and radar, we were directly modeling these systems after the natural navigation system of bats. So bats emit a pulse of sound waves, and then listen for the echoes to come back. The time it takes for the echo to return tells them how far away the object is. The louder the sound, the closer the object, and the smaller the difference in volume between the initial sound and the returning echo, the softer the object. Like I said, it's like a 3D map made of sound. And just like we use our eyes to see, bats use sound to navigate the world around them. For them, the night is never truly dark. In fact, Bats don't rely solely on echolocation to get around. Some species can also see pretty well in the dark. And some larger bats even have eyes that reflect light, much like the eyes of cats. But not all bats use echolocation in the same way. Some, like the greater stick-nosed bat, use it to create a map of the spaces between trees allowing them to navigate through forests without getting tangled up. Other bats, like the little cuties, use echolocation to find flowers that are full of sweet nectar. And some bats, like the gray myotis, use echolocation to find fish to eat. They swoop down towards the water, create a small wave to disturb the fish, and then quickly snatch them out of the water before the fish can escape. Really? Echolocation allows bats to do almost anything they need to survive. And it all happens super fast. Some bats can emit up to 2,000 pulses of sound per second. That's one pulse for every 0.5 milliseconds. And they can process the returning echoes almost as quickly as they send out the sound waves. But why wouldn't they? Echolocation is kind of like a superpower, allowing bats to do amazing things that other animals including us humans, can't do. So next time you're out at night, take a moment to appreciate the amazing animals that are flying around you, navigating the darkness with their incredible superpower. This has been a minute with Mr.